C is a show from Apple TV Plus starring Jason Momoa. It has had some mixed reviews, but no one can deny that it is high budget and high action. It also has some incredible landscapes, but just how much of the show is real? This is C without CGI revealed and what it looks like behind the scenes. CGI for the eyes. In a show where most of the characters are supposed to be blind, played by people who can see, the eyes are super important. Each person is different, so their eyes would be different too. Getting the acting and effects right so it doesn't look like the actors are still looking at each other is also important. If they look at each other, even during a fight scene, then it won't much matter what they do with the special effects afterwards because it'll still be obvious. The cast does the acting the normal way and then afterwards they put in CGI on the eyes. But this is one thing that many of the cast have said they felt disappointed in. Jason Momoa, among some of the others, has said that they all tried to find a way to appear blind and each of these moments was a little bit different. So when they just CGI'd the pupils of all the eyes of the actors, it felt like it kind of retracted from their acting instead of adding to it. C is a show that doesn't use a lot of CGI. They They'd rather build the set and use stage makeup to create the effects they want to achieve. So the fact that the actors weren't happy with the one biggest aspect of computer generated imagery in the show is actually a pretty big letdown. But the rest of the show's effects and landscape won't let anyone down. Special training. All of the actors that had fight scenes had to have special training, but Jason Momoa especially had to learn how to fight as a blind person would. Besides the blindness consultant that was on set each and every day, they had other consultants to help out too. He had to fight like someone who can't see, someone who relies on all of their other senses, and he had to learn to do it without actually looking at the person he was fighting. He even wore and fought with a blindfold for a couple of weeks to prepare for the role and to make sure that he can portray the character with accuracy. He also tried using echolocation, a navigation technique where you make noise and the sound that bounces off other objects gives you a pretty good idea of what's around you. I'm not entirely sure if that was effective for him since echolocation can take years for someone to perfect, but it's still a cool thing to try out. The entire production took handling blindness with care and accuracy very seriously. And if you've watched the show, you would see that these characters aren't portrayed as sad or hopeless. Rather, the entire world has adapted and they live a pretty incredible life. It's a pretty empowering story. Behind the scenes, families. This is a show that is in essence all about family. Momoa's character is trying to protect his children and keep everyone he loves safe. Family is a big part of the show, and apparently it's a big part behind the scenes too. We all know that Jason Momoa might look big and burly, but in reality, he has a soft side, and that soft side is his family. He adores his wife, Lisa Bonnet, and the couple and their extended family seem to have one of the best relationships in Hollywood at the moment. The relationship with Lisa's ex, Lenny Kravitz, is incredible, and they always put their child, Zoe, before any drama that might have come up. That's why it was so cool to see that the families on C could bring their children to set. It looks like it's a pretty family oriented environment. I mean, as family oriented as a set can be, where everyone is regularly walking around with stage blood all over them and full of scars, and where fights and battles are happening regularly. But let's face it, these are children that grow up around show business, and they know that it's all make-believe. Jason Momoa recently posted pictures and video of his two younger children on set with him while he was making C. In fact, Mimosa's social media pages are full of behind the scenes images that show just how everything looks behind the scenes. The makeup. C has an incredible makeup department. The effects they create just with makeup and costumes were pretty extraordinary. The show wanted to create things more in reality than in computers and that's exactly what they did. So a lot of what we see on screen is not special effects but rather just incredible art. So take for example the scars on Baba Voss's back. They look so real that it was pretty awesome, and to get them that precise each time had to take a lot of skill and attention to detail. Each fight scene where everyone ended up covered in blood, each time someone was injured, was mostly just created by the makeup and art departments. So what you would have seen on set during those days of filming would have been very similar to what ended up on screen during the show. Stunning landscapes. Most of the landscapes of the show look like something off of a postcard or something straight out of a fairy tale. So no way those could be real, right? Surprisingly, they are, at least mostly, but we'll get into that in a little bit. This show that tried to keep as much realism as possible went the extra mile when it came to finding stunning landscapes to film in. Most of what has been filmed was done in Canada, British Columbia, but not in the areas where filming is normally done. Vancouver is sometimes called the Hollywood North because so many people film there, but they wanted the show to be completely unique. The writer and the director of the show were very adamant that they needed to find a scene where no one has ever shot before. You shouldn't look at the series and feel like you're experiencing deja vu, and that doesn't usually happen when watching this show. You might wish that you can go to these stunning areas 
but it all feels very fresh. But in fact, if you live near the area, you could easily visit and even camp there. The production used the Ralph River Campground in Strathcona Provincial Park to film. The camping ground is on Vancouver Island, but they shut the campground down in order to film there and have full access to some of the stunning landscapes the park has to offer. There are some stunning natural scenes in the area, complete with their own frozen tundra and other water elements, plus stunning lush forests. It was the perfect backdrop for the show, and where their scenes weren't perfect, they just changed them to fit. Changing natural features. Didn't know that could be done? Well, they did it. They wanted to film as much of what could end up on screen in real life, even if that meant a lot of effort. For example, they built an entire village in this natural scenery just to break it down afterwards. And then when they needed it again for season two, they had to build it all over again. They wanted an empty lake, so they drained it completely and filled it back up when they were done. Does this all sound super expensive? Well, it was. The budget. C didn't mind spending money because they had a massive budget to spend. They had around $15 million per episode to produce the show. So for the first season, that was around $120 million. That is massive. It equals shows like Game of Thrones in budget. So spending lots of cash on the production was no problem. It looks like Apple TV Plus has pulled out all of the stops budget-wise when it comes to their new original shows. And season two might have ended up being even more expensive because in it, two fandoms collide. Dave Bautista. It's like a coming together of Marvel and DC Comics, except that C has nothing to do with either universes, but two of the biggest stars on the shows do. Jason Momoa obviously plays the title character in DC's Aquaman, but now a Guardian of the Galaxy has also joined the cast of C. Dave Bautista joined the cast of C in Season 2. He plays the younger brother of Baba Voss, and let's just say the sibling rivalry is strong between those two. So the budget for just the cast has to be pretty massive, but it's it's a lot of fun to watch. What is it all about? It's a world where many people died from a virus, but those that did survive are left sightless. People have built a whole new society and way of life. Then children are born that can see, and people are not happy. These sighted people are viewed as evil, and it's a bit like a witch hunt because they have abilities that most people don't have. Two of these children are the stepchildren of Baba Voss, so when others start coming after them, it follows that he tries to protect his family and his tribe. It has a lot of action, but it also gives Jason Momoa his first opportunity to play a father that is just caring for his family in the best way he knows how. How many seasons will there be? Season 1 dropped on Apple TV Plus in November of 2019. Then Season 2 was released in August of 2021. If you consider some of the delays that there were on all television series because of the pandemic, then it's not that long of a wait between seasons, especially if you consider what a big show this is. And that might be because so much of the show's production is done as they film. Will this be the last season? No. Apple Plus and the show have announced that Season 3 will definitely be happening and that they will finish filming it in October of 2021, so we might see it sooner than we think. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe to stay updated, and we have more videos that we think you might enjoy.